Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, rolling credits in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, so if you've ever struggled with the uh, title designer in Premiere Pro trying to make rolling credits, I'm gonna give you a couple tips to make it easier. You know what your first one is? Start in a word processor. I'm gonna start in Word to design the layout of things. So this is just typical word processing, just dropping in, in uh, characters and setting tab points. And we'll copy this and bring this into the title designer. We can work directly in the title designer. It's probably okay for something, but typically with rolling credits, we're talking about uh, dozens, if not hundreds of entries. Let's go have a look. So here I've got some centered type, centered type, centered type, and then some right justified and left justified. This is the proper way to do titles, where you have a, a line down either side. It's easier to read when you do it this way. And if I select this all and copy it, and then we jump into Premiere Pro. So the first thing I wanna show you is something peculiar about the title uh, designer. So you can grab a new title by clicking down here and choosing new title, or you can go to the title, new title, and choose a rolling title directly on here. So let's try that. And I'm just going to leave that. Well, let's call this credits new. And right now it's, it's looking at what I have over here in the, uh, in the timeline. So let me just move down to nothing. What, what we're going to do is we're going to create this rolling title. Okay. So I'll jump down into here. Let me open up that uh, title new. Uh, this is a scalable window, so make this larger to be able to work on. If you've got a second screen, then make it even larger. Um, it's set to be a rolling or a, a title, so if you click in here, you'll see I can change this back to a still or a crawl left, crawl right. That's really how you designate something as a rolling title. It's just when you create it this way, it's automatically on. Now, here's my first little tip. Grab a rectangle, draw it into the corner, go over here to the position and the height. You can see the height as I change this height, change that in there. Click in here, I'm gonna choose 20,000. Boom. Why have I done that? Well, I've done that so I can now scroll up and down in this right hand area. If you don't do this, what I find awkward about the, the title designer is it only scrolls down to what you have. And then when you add something else, then it will expand itself down. You add something that's 20,000 um, pixels, then now you've got a larger area to work with. Okay, you just gotta make sure you don't select it by uh, accident. So I'm gonna grab my area text. So not the regular text, this is the area text type tool. This allows me to select this whole area and remember, I had that other stuff uh, copied into the clipboard. And when I paste this in, so let me make this easier. I'm gonna select all of this and make this uh, type a little bit smaller. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is that I'm gonna take everything from here and cut it. And that's Control X on Windows, Command X on Mac. And then I'm going to hit the center justification for this and move this down. Then I'm going to grab some more area text and I'll drop in that same opening, this time choosing center. You'll see how every single thing is centered. Normally center, left and right justified are a paragraph attribute. In the title designer, they're actually an attribute of the whole block of text. That's why we have to separate these two out. All right, so for this one, we're gonna make sure it starts out as left justified. Drag that up. And I probably should have left cast back in here. So let me put cast in there. Put a carriage return between that. All right, so this starts out as left justified and I'll select that and grab my tab stops 
and this thing does not know where it starts so you have to reset it and position it there each time so here I can add my left center and right justified tabs and if you click in here you can see that's a right justified left justified I'll make that right justified click in here and look at that I now have my text now I have to close this I can't work with the text and keep that open so now I've got my uh, centered text and I probably should move that around in there anyway close that up and here's my new credits and I drop them in here right now you'll notice the speed is crazy fast well you need to extend that out the further you make that the slower it goes and you can have it start off the screen so if I double click on that again go to my rolling credits and tell it to start off screen and end off screen now it starts off screen and ends off screen so that's the way that you can work with uh, your type and get it to look work with your credits so that's the way you can work with your credits and get this nice spacing in the middle um, if I needed to do another um, center justified area in here then I would just copy it in let me just show you what I would do So going back up to this tiny little scroll bar in here, I'll select this and copy it. Go to the end of my text, paste it in. Yes, you have to paste it and then drag it. It will always put it at the top. All right, now when I place that in, then I'll have new information there at the bottom. So if we go to the end of our title, there you can see more center justified. So it can be done. Um, it does take a little bit of jockeying around, but like I said, use something like Word or any kind of text uh, word processing program to set your, your tabs before you get in there. And remember that center left justification is not a paragraph. It is a block of text feature inside here. Woo! All right. Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then click on the subscribe button for video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then there's a link down in the description for a free 30K trial just for you. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.